Now I'm going to go over how you can share your location via Google Maps on an iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Google Maps um, installed on your iPhone and that you're logged in with your Gmail, which it'll ask you to do once you open it up. You can check out the link in the description below to take you to the App Store page for Google Maps so you can quickly go ahead and download it. But once you have it opened up, to share your location, you want to go ahead and hit the user icon in the top right hand corner here. Once you do that, you will see the option for location sharing. Once you tap on that, it's going to give you some information here, um, but you can go ahead and just tap the blue button that says share location. And once you do that, um, you see you get a menu down here of people you can share it with. Now, this first row that's going to pop up here is anyone you have um, in your Google contacts with their email. So these are so if I select the people here, um, it'll automatically share it with um, their Google Maps app that they have on their device. Um, but if you want, you have more options down here where you can send it the link as a text message or email or something like that, or you can copy the link to your location. Now you also have an option here that says for how long do you want to share your real-time location and it defaults for one hour but you can increase that basically all the way up as you can see we keep going up to about 12 hours and then we get to one full day and then two full days and three full days is the max and if you minus all the way down you can even go lower than an hour and the minimum is 15 minutes for sharing it. You can also have the option here that says until you turn this off. But as you can see when we select that, we only have the row here and we don't have those more sharing options down at the bottom. Oops. Right, so if you do until you turn this off, you don't get those options at the bottom. So that means you would need their email address saved in your contacts or in your phone or through your Gmail account. So just keep that in mind. Um, but if you want to text it to someone, you're going to have to do it <clears throat> for a certain period of time. But again, you can increase that up to three days. Um, even if you just select um, a certain amount of time, you can always come back in here um, via the same way we got here and you can cancel um, that sharing. So say you share it for three days and after a day you don't need to share it anymore, you can come back in here and cancel location sharing. It's up to you. So this is kind of one way you can just share your basic location if you want to um, in the Google Maps app on an iPhone. Now, if you want to share maybe a route that you're taking, that works a little differently. So we're gonna back all the way out here and we're gonna go to um, some place nearby. We'll just pick like a there we go. And we're going to just start the navigation, okay? And if I want to share this route with someone, so maybe I'm on my way to a friend's house and um, this will make it easier for them to see, you know, how long it's going to take me to get there and when I will arrive so they don't have to keep calling or texting me while I'm driving. So if I swipe up from the bottom here, you see the share trip progress. So if I click on that, you can see the options here are very similar to what we have before. If you have their email saved somewhere, you can just tap in this row here, or you can click the more options and either send it as a text, an email, what have you, or copy the link and send it via some other application. And that will um, show your trip, where you're headed, and how long it's going to take you to get there. So that's how you can go ahead and share your location or your trip progress. Um, via Google Maps on an iPhone. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.